Hello and greetings from Iceland. I have both good and bad volcano news today. And let's start with the obvious fact that the eruption is over. It became one of the shortest eruptions on record. However, if you look at the rifting episode in North Iceland between 1975 and 1984, the nine eruptions that occurred back then were often very short as this one. So this is not new to us. And this uh, short-lived uh, eruption left us with a lava field that covers uh, four square kilometers or uh, quite impressive in this uh, short time. But the best news of the day must be that the residents of Grindavík can now return home for Christmas or tomorrow, December 23rd. Overnight stay is uh, allowed now for the first time, but as for guests, we are now the only country in the world that uses the civil defense to keep the in-laws away from a Christmas party. However, it's also big news that uh, this is not over. In fact, this is most likely just starting, so let's make this as simple as possible. On the Svartsengi by the Blue Lagoon, we have a magma chamber at 4 to 5 kilometers depth that only handles a certain amount of magma before it pressurizes too much. And uh, now we have gone through two such scenarios with different results. First, the November 10th uh, rifting event that formed the magma dike and the land subsidence in Svartsengi after that was 35 cm. Land uplift due to magma inflow then started uh, again and continued until it reached the critical November 10th height. The magma chamber pressurized again and sent us this uh, short-lived eruption. So one might ask, isn't it just a formality to allow the people to go to Grindavík again? And sadly, it's not like that, because uh, the magma inflow has started again, and it's even more now than before the eruption. And during the eruption, the land subsidence was around 10 centimeters, which indicates that uh, way more pressure is needed to get the rest of the magma up. And the land uplift now is estimated to be around 5 to 7 millimeters a day, so it looks uh, like a vicious cycle in the making, or uh, until the inflow to the magma chamber stops. And uh, there are no such signs now. And uh, when the magma chamber will be just as full as it was before the eruption, we will get the next one. But when, and uh, today I've heard uh, three, perhaps uh, four weeks, but uh, due to how little portion of the magma was unleashed uh, this time, and we already have this uh, opening in the old uh, Sunt Nukar uh, row of critters, I think it leaves uh, plenty of room for some surprises. And it's actually noteworthy that the earthquake swarms are already quite strong. And where does that leave the people in Grindavík? So let's start with some of the confusing information out there. I was listening to Professor Arman Höskuldsson in the radio two days ago. He is one of the experts I tend to listen to whenever he speaks up. The official story has always been that we have this 15 km long dike and it could erupt uh, almost anywhere, even a submarine eruption. And that's the reason why people have not been able to move back, because that dike stretches under the town itself. But in this interview, the professor was saying that there is no magma under Grindavík and the risk level for the town was actually lowered today, so I had to take a deep breath. And uh, since I'm not a geologist, I'm wondering, is it possible to see where are the borders between the dike and the fissure swarm? Because uh, we were led to believe that the whole uh, 15 kilometers were all full of magma. So uh, was it the case that the residents and uh, other were banned from being in the town for the wrong reason, for the most part? Because uh, that is what I'm reading through this interview. And I'm a bit frustrated because... Uh, Journalists did not pick this up, because this is a big story. However, what you know for sure is that the southernmost crater on this old uh, crater row that just erupted is 800 meters north of the town, and there is no historical or scientific data suggesting that an eruption could occur within the town or until this alleged uh, dike came into being. And this discussion is actually coming to the surface more and more in different forms. A former uh, Supreme Court judge was saying that uh, there are no legal grounds to uh, deny people access to their homes since they have uh, constitutionally protected the right to use their own property 
as long as they are aware of the potential danger and therefore themselves responsible. And a group of residents was preparing a lawsuit against the state, but it has now been dropped. And it might be because, uh, after all, there will be Christmas in Grindavík, although we do not expect many of the residents to be there due to uh, how late this announcement came. But uh, it's a step into the future. There will be no search and rescue team in town. This has been uh, very hard on them. They need the time off. However, the police will be present at the all three roads to town, making sure that uh, no in-laws can enter the Christmas party in town. And uh, this will most likely be my last Vulcan update before Christmas. However, I have a Christmas video in the making. But the eruption and my uh, travel to the Reykjanes Peninsula from the north, it messed up my schedule big time, but uh, I'm hoping to get it online tomorrow. So uh, I'm using the chance now to say Merry Christmas to you all and Happy Holidays if you won't be here for my Christmas special. And uh, if you are a tourist in Iceland and you will be walking around town tomorrow, and every now and then you come across people that uh, smell like they ate the most disgusting food in the world. I can explain that because uh, that is just what it did. So uh, I advise you to stay away from that uh, horrible Christmas tradition in Iceland. And I'm leaving a link to my most uh, unpopular video ever as for uh, thumbs down. But that uncovers the truth about this uh, weird tradition or the Icelandic piss fish. And that video covers my private story from Grindavík, where I was working uh, in a fish processing plant a long, long time ago, and uh, learned a few things about this tradition that uh, has stayed with me, but not for the reason that I wanted. And uh, until next time, I'm sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Iceland.